you know, I, I consider myself someone who's very well versed in civil rights. And and um, yet there were so many things that I discovered um, on the journey of watching the film. Uh, for you, what were some of the things that you unearthed just from being a part of this? Well, you know, we you, like you, I knew a bit. You probably know way more than I do. I got to give it to you, Beth, because there's so much history. And I say every day I learn something new that I didn't know that everybody else seemed to know. But I yeah. liked knowing that the boy from Troy suddenly mm-hmm. had this whole profile to me of a strategist and not just this brave person. Dawn loves to talk about the fact that at 17, he wrote to Martin Luther King asking to be part of a, um, a class action suit um, for discrimination because he was experiencing it trying to get into college. He decided not to be a part of that because he didn't want to bring harm to his family. But then at 19, he was a part of the deep segregation um, of lunch counters in um, yes. Tennessee. And then later on at 23, he was making that speech on the, at the March for Washington. And people do talk mm-hmm. about the bravery and the strength of these civil rights leaders, especially him, but they don't talk about the strategy and the education and the intellect and how they did it and how they prepared themselves with a philosophy of nonviolence given to them and taught to them by Reverend James Lawson, who was teaching it to Martin Luther King, who still teaches it to this day in, in L.A. So this is what I learned. I learned that to be in the fight and protest, you got to commit yourself and dedicate yourself to a life um, um, of, of standing up. But in, in doing so, you often um, become someone else because it, it really yes. takes a whole trek of, of, of learning and um, again, you know, aligning in partnership with others. 